And just to, to focus on your particular specialism at the moment, the use of augmented reality and virtual reality, what potential does that have for, for retailers like Sergio? So augmented reality, as we might know, is, is very much deployed right now into social networks. So we have, we have a lot of advertising that comes for augmented reality in the cosmetics industry, in the fashion industry. You know, you could, like if you're a woman, you're buying, lip, if you're buying lipstick, Tip, sorry, uh, whether you're man or woman, by the way, you can try it on uh, on on Instagram or on Facebook. So there's there's a lot of augmented reality formats that are helping right now. You could be in retail, and then with image recognition, you could film the the device or the product you're buying, and then it would tell you a lot of things about this. That's just the beginning. We're moving to a world when the form factor of AR glasses exists, where People will have superpower. They will see products. It will tell them things around, you know, uh, um, how is it manufactured? Is it a fair trade product? I mean, you will have to explode the number of brand stories we can tell to customers in the future. So that, that's kind of what's coming. So today it's augmented reality in, in social. Tomorrow it will be immersive augmented reality and it will completely change again the way people shop and it will completely change the expectations on how transparent brands should be. This is going to be a huge challenge for brand. I'm looking at Matthias right now on my screen because people will like to see your production factory and see how people are treated in there. And they would be able to access this in a, one, in a millisecond and look at it and decide whether they like you or not. You yeah. know, and people would do reviews, you know, so kind of immersive reviews, things like that. So this is going to be incredibly interesting as well.